for a sex offender continues. Thank you for keeping it here with Fox 4. I'm Chris Earle. And I'm Nadine Giannis. Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers say this man, Christian Chinchilla, inappropriately touched himself in front of young girls with at least three cases in a little more than a month. Yeah, this is the most recent incident that happened off Terry Avenue and Lehigh Acres at a bus stop on November 27th at a CVS off Lee Boulevard, also in Lehigh Acres. And then the first one at another bus stop, this time at Orange. River Boulevard on Palm Lane. All three of those instances right here on this map behind me. That's also where we find Fox Force Caitlin Knapp. And Caitlin, we've been hearing about this taking place for what seems to be quite a bit of late. Yeah, we had three cases last month happening in Golden Gate, but in this particular instance, the first case happened right here and the other two in Lehigh Acres back in November and December. So I went to Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers asking them, is this happening more often or are we just hearing about it more often? We need to all make sure that we're looking out for our kids. So Trish Rout with Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers says she also wants everyone to look out for this man, Christian Chinchilla. He's pulling up to young girls and uh, committing very lewd acts in front of them. Since November, she says the sexual predator did this near young girls three different times. And while two of them waited for the school bus, Route says the description of the suspect and his car led detectives to the sex offender database and to Chinchilla. Fortunately, in, in these three instances, the victims all did the right thing and they told this trusted adult about what happened. And what happened, investigators say, recently occurred in other parts of our area too. Just last month, a similar case in Golden Gate. The Collier County Sheriff's Office says two different suspects in two of the cases, but almost the exact same scenario. And in San Carlos Park, a man's accused of approaching a girl at a bus stop, following her inside to her home and asking her inappropriate questions. He was arrested days later. That these are happening in the broad daylight hours. As to why, she says, it could have to do with more people moving here, increasing the likelihood of predators. But she says, we as adults are doing a better job at talking to our young daughters about strangers. Meaning more kids could be reporting these incidents, causing more cases to come to light. Cases like chinchillas. If you've seen him kind of scouting around your area, you need to have this conversation, especially with your young daughters. She says chinchilla is still on the run and detectives believe he's still in the area. I think any time that you have an adult male that is preying on young female girls in a lewd way like this, that needs to, we all need to be on alert. Chinchilla is already a registered sex offender with the GPS device, but investigators believe that he cut it off right after he figured out that they were looking for him. Now, law enforcement across all of these different cases want you to contact them if you have seen Chinchilla or any of the other suspects in the other cases or know anything about them. Reporting live in Lee County, Caitlin Knapp, Fox 4.